So today I'm installing the 5 kilowatt Chinese diesel heater in my Volkswagen Crafter. There's all the bits. I cut the hole for the turret plate and let's get cracking. Right, holes cut, turret plate, <sighs> lovely stuff. I'm just going to go around, file this down a little bit and give it a little bit of paint, just some metal paint, just to protect it a little bit, just that bare metal going around. Let that dry off and uh, come back. Right, I've drilled the bolt holes for the turret plate for it's up to you what bolts or whatever you use I've just got some normal bolts and nuts it's going to be sealed all around anyway just make sure they go in yeah lined up fine so I'll seal all the way around with some fire mate, some heat resistant um, sealant all the way around, seal the plate down, get underneath and bolt it from underneath and that's the plate done then so the plate is now bolted tight to the heater I'm gonna put the air and the uh, exhaust on before I drop it into the hole. Um, so the small one fuel line next to it is the air, furthest away from the fuel line is the exhaust. Always further away from the fuel for obvious reasons. So I'm going to seal around this now and then drop it all in. But first of all, you need to work out where the fuel's going. So my tank is going there. So I would get yourself a hole and everything ready for the fuel. I've done it already, painted it around with some metal paint just to treat it a little bit. Run it through and up into the heater. So it's all dropped in ready. Um, if you need to pull some slack then you can pull it through from the inside. So I ain't got to get underneath now and mess around other than lining these two up. Um, so I'm going to seal round now, drop it in, get underneath, bolt it down and go from there. So I've bolted all four in. I'm gonna go around and reseal the outside of this. Reseal, I'll put some sort of sealant or something around this hole where the fuel pipe's gone through. And then I can run this air pipe and the exhaust. So we got the, there's a rubber sleeve. The pump sits inside the rubber sleeve. Okay, the connection end faces up, so 90 degrees. So we're coming out of the filter, bit of pipe into the pump, which is sat at roughly 90 degrees, and then out of there, into there, which then will feed the heater. So out, through the pump, down, and into the heater. Right, so let me just go back through it. So. That's the setup. 
so we come out of the diesel tank into the filter out of the filter into the pump the electric side of the pump have that facing up slightly they say 90 degrees but slightly um, from there through the floor and then back up into the heater that's the fuel side of it um, electrics so everything there's three different blocks and there, there's one inside the pump one goes onto the heater and one goes onto the controller which is there um, they're all different shapes to fit each other so you can't get them wrong so I'll connect them all up quickly um, connect the power up get a bit of fuel in see if it'll start up right so everything is in obviously the control and everything nothing, that's not where it's going the control's going up there but everything is in we've got diesel in there everything I think is all in touch wood plenty of it um, let's do it let's do it so to prime the pump you push them both down together it comes up with H off you push up to H on and now the pump is clicking and you can see the diesel I don't know if you can see it the diesel's there it's gonna take a while to come round let me come back when it gets round pump has now started kicking in I'm sure if we go round outside there will be smoke let's have a look right, so I don't know how much this is going to pick up there's a little bit of smoke not as much as I thought to be fair the exhaust is not staying there as well by the way I'll just put it there to start it up and get it going that's running really clean there's no smoke at all wow that's running lovely now already hardly any smoke outside that's running really nice that's boiling not already coming out of that. It takes a lot of voltage on startup, but once it starts running on full, it starts um, settling down a bit. It uses next to nothing once it's uh, once it's running. Right, so when you go through temperature. Um, if you want to change that to temperature, you push the two top buttons together and that gives you the temperature, so down, up, temperature setting. So the voltage is using, no fault codes, how long it's been on for, time, air temperature right now, and that's what it's set at. lovely stuff wow that's it hope this has helped you out if it has subscribe give us a like have a good day